Hey everybody, how's it going? So yesterday we got the announcement that Thor 4 will be happening with basically the same creative team from Thor Ragnarok, which is fantastic news. There's a lot that could happen here. We could get a lot more information at San Diego Comic Con this upcoming weekend. But before we really get into like story elements and really kind of theorizing nitty gritty details, First and foremost, I think the villain for this movie should be Gore the God Butcher, and there's a reason why for it. So a lot of people I've seen online post, you know, Mangog as a villain, maybe Enchantress as a villain, Ares even as a villain, and I think if you want to do Ares, yes, that could be a great setup for a Dark Avengers movie, but I don't think Taika wants to use Thor 4 as an Iron Man 2-like vehicle to simply lead into spin-off movies or to build to the next Avengers event kind of thing. I think Taika is going to take this movie and just like he did with Thor Ragnarok, let it be its own thing, not make it, you know, a platform that other movies are going to step off of. So I do think getting Beta Ray Bill would be really cool, but I'm not going to put too many horses in that cart, so to speak, because we already had supposedly the announcement that Beta Ray Bill would be a part of the Sif Disney Plus series, which the status of that hasn't really been addressed in recent memory, but for a character like Van Gogh, I think he's more of like a final movie type situation. So if you know Thor 4 is going to be your final Thor movie, you're not going to do another trilogy, sure, go with Mangog to kill Thor off or something like that. Considering Mangog's whole thing is that he's supposed to have power rivaling Odin and he's basically the combined hatred of an entire planet in one being and that whole hatred is just towards Asgardians, Odin, Thor, things like that. So because of that, the character is extraordinarily powerful and that's why I say I think he should be more of like a final Thor movie villain, similar to how Surtur would usually be a final Thor movie villain with the Ragnarok storyline. Now with Gore the God Butcher, his story is a little bit more different just because in the comics, and this is a very, very condensed version of his origin, but a proto-symbiote sword called the God Butcher Sword falls on his planet after he witnesses two gods, one using the sword, dying in battle. Except later in the Venom series, we learn that the symbiote god didn't actually die, he was just very weakened. But Gore takes the sword and through using the Necromancer Sword, understands basically that he now has the power of a god and decides to commit various acts across the cosmos against various gods both lesser and then later as time goes on more major gods to get revenge on the fact that people like him his civilization would pray very diligently to a lot of different gods but their prayers were never answered and instead of their prayers being answered they would have a lot of tragedies inflicted upon them and gore personally had a very personal death happen in his life and once that happened he kind of gave up all of his faith and upon losing his faith and then getting this sword i'm not really doing the story justice at all it's a great story though i definitely recommend checking it out his main kind of goal was to eventually annihilate every single god in the universe and he almost did except for obviously thor ended up defeating him this is an interesting story i think because hella in the mcu definitely took Took inspiration from Gore with regards to her swords and weaponry. So what if in some way she perform Hela, like a, a piece of Hela's equipment, like her sword or something like that, drifts off into the distance in the universe after the events of Ragnarok where Asgard explodes and it lands on a planet, an alien like Gore picks it up and it gives for whatever reason, and I'm sure they can make it up as they go with regards to Thor 4, Hela's sword gives Gore, for whatever reason, the abilities of Gore the God Butcher. So basically, I guess in the context of MCU Hela, it would give Gore, presumably besides enhanced strength and stuff like that, the ability to make unlimited weapons. That's where you could really go with it and then of course you could have, if you really want to, you could tie in Thanos and the snap and all that stuff and you could have Gore blame the gods of the universe, things like that, for the snap and for losing his family probably in his eyes before the blip happens and go from there. And that, that could be a really interesting story I think. You could really have Thor be confronted with his godhood being a god things like that in a way he hasn't before because a lot of his stories so far has been a story of him being humbled usually for all intents and purposes and then Thor Ragnarok was him supposedly trying to find out who he is which seemingly was undone by Infinity War and Endgame in some respects and now this would be a really interesting story of him seeing really what is his legacy what is Asgard's legacy in the universe to other races that Asgard was supposed to protect which as we've seen in previous Thor movies they haven't always done a great job 
of doing. And you could also blame part of that on Loki, considering while he was posing as Odin, I'm sure he wasn't 100% on top of all of Asgard's responsibilities. As we saw, he was kind of playing around as Odin. But come below your thoughts, what do you guys think about doing Gore the God Butcher in Thor 4? Leave your comments down below, and we'll see you guys later.